You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Queen Gaming. And some of you know me on Twitter. Some of you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Nico Jishi. So y'all, let's go ahead and just jump right back in, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. All right, <clears throat> all right. The big fight. Leopard takes one step back, then a vast leap far down the corridor outside my room, retreating as his form dissolves into a black and yellow shadow, disappearing before our eyes. Tiger paces slowly up to the door and closes it. As soon as the handle clicks shut, I fall to the floor. Finally, a second to relax. Leo, are you alright? Huh. Huh. Some people can be completely exhausted by the possessing ritual. If you don't feel well, you may, re you may take a rest. No, it's not like that. I don't feel unwell. My mind's just trying to process everything. After all, we just managed to drive off Leopard's attack, and I gave Tiger a name. Lin Hu? Tiger, um... Hmm? The name I gave you, d do you like it? Of course. I would say any name given to me by Liao would be wonderful, but... Lin Hu, Tiger of the Tiger of the Lin family. Simple and direct. I like it very much. Hmm. Um, that is, uh... It's something urgent I want to tell you. There's it's something urgent I want to tell you. How so? I'm not really sure where to start. What is it? Are there still things you feel uncomfortable to talk to me about? Is it about that leopard? Not really. I just wanted to ask ab ab about what happened earlier. Earlier? You know, what we did together, Tiger. No, Lin Hu, uh, did, did you mean it? Mean it? What do you mean by that? It's just, you said that you liked me and you kissed me. Are you saying you weren't serious about that? Well, of course I'm serious, it's just... Just what? How to put this? Of course I like you, Liao. But I feel also that the urgency of the situation caused me to act recklessly. So? What are you saying? Just... I don't want you to think too much about it. But what is too much? Um, let's not discuss anything else on the matter. It's my duty to protect you, no matter my feelings. I have to. You want me to just pretend nothing happened? No, I just didn't expect you to take it this seriously. How can I not take it seriously? I couldn't help but raise my voice. I didn't mean to yell at him. A cacophony of feelings have welled up within me. I couldn't help it, but why? Not so long ago, I felt like I never wanted to go with Tiger, no matter what. Liao, calm yourself. Sorry, I've been thinking. Tiger, you've taken care of me, been nice to me, and protected me. All because you wanted to possess my body, right? It's true that I wished to possess you, but that was all to contend with that clouded leopard. So, if leopard never attacked us, you would have never kissed me? It's not like that. Then who? Let me be straight with you. Ah, straight. Honestly, I... I think I've realized it now, how I feel. Or maybe it's just an example of misattribution theory. Maybe I'm just too nervous, too scared to know how I really feel. It doesn't matter. Then who? I'll ask again. Do you like me? Of course I like... I don't care if you like me. I want to know if you like me. This isn't about my family, this is about me. So please... Stop giving me the cold shoulder, that's that's all I ask. But, Liao... So you don't care? No, Liao. I like you, Liao, and I understand where you're coming from, but I don't believe... Why not? Why can't I like a god? You cannot. I'm not human, and as much as I know you like Beastmen, you need a boyfriend. A real boyfriend. Someone who can take care of you when you fall ill. Go on dates with you to take care of each other financially. Someone who can help you whenever you need. I know such a thing is hard. But no matter what, you cannot rely on a god who doesn't even have a physical form. What would we do if you became terribly ill? What to do? If, what would you do if you ran out of money? It cannot work. Won't you take care of me? Won't you bless me against sickness and poverty? As long as you're here with me, you said you'd protect me, didn't you? You can't stop me from being sick, from becoming poor. So who cares? What's the difference between having you and having any other boyfriend? No, it isn't. I can only bless you. I cannot stop such things from happening completely. That is not how this world works. Then beg Goddess Meizu if you can't do it. Liao, don't mistake gods as omnipotent. One second, y'all. Water time. Why not? You're my guardian tiger. You're supposed... You, you're supposed to be here to protect me. Lin Hu walks up to me and wipes the tears from my face. Tears? How long have I been crying? Liao, nothing can change the reality that I'm not a real person. For your future. For the rest of your life. You deserve a real boyfriend, not a god. That would be too special. But that's not what I want. I like you, Lin Hu. I like to have you by my side. I like it when you take care of me. I even like your big grumpy face. 
I, I know you'll be here for me because of this. For the rest of my life. And I don't want a relationship to just, just stay how we are. I want you to hold me in your arms whenever I want. I want you to pat me and comfort me. I want to get more intimate with you, even if your form is only spiritual. It's still great, isn't it? I, I felt wonderful earlier. Could anyone else possibly better be better for me than you? I even like beast men. I don't see anything wrong with us. What? Why? Why can't we? I'm sorry, Liao. I don't. I didn't see your heart before. We didn't have any options, but it is still my fault for making that request. I shouldn't become that intimate with you. Why? Why don't you want to be with me? It's not that I don't want to. I just. It doesn't matter. Liao, calm down, please. I'm very calm. Well, okay, I'm not calm, but just letting this go isn't going to make me feel any better. All, I'll, all I'd be... All I'd be is maybe a little less sad. Leal, even so, I want to give... I want you to... I want you to give it some time. That won't change how I feel. You just worked up. Many things can still... Still what? What can I do? Just... Tell me. Leal, give it some time. I'll go back to my statue, and it would be better if we didn't see each other for the next few days. It would give us some time. But there's no need to fret. I'll be watching in case that leopard comes back to trouble us. But yeah, please don't be too... Well, I'm going. Lin Hu disappears into the statue. I just stand there in an empty room, looking blankly at the air before me. There's nothing I could have said. When... When did everyone leave me? Sad. Over the next few days, there's no sign of Leopard or Senpai. Senpai told me he was going back home, so that's just how things are. I thought Leopard would come back after everything that happened. But Lin Hu? I still haven't seen him. It's just been two days back to my ordinary life as a college student. No gods talk to me. No one demands food I can't finish. No one glued to me from dawn to dusk. At least it's been peaceful. I've been able to focus on class without having someone jump out at me. No distractions at all. I go to the bookstore to check the new releases. I even look at the textbooks, which I don't usually do. I don't know if there's anything new, though. I skipped this week's practice, but ended up going to the mirror wall at night after everyone else has left. I probably shouldn't go there on my own, but I don't want anyone to bother me. As usual, I go to the cafeteria for meals, sitting in the corner by myself, the energetic bustle of the other students filling the air around me. Even without the pressure of midterms, I prepare for each lesson like a proper student. It's not like I have anything to do back home anyway. I don't really care about going online or going out shopping anymore. It's not like it makes me feel any better. I... I know I'm fed up with this. I just don't feel like it's up to me to make the first move. He'll be out soon enough anyway. <coughs> I grab a tissue and use it to clean up my nose. Sure enough, I've caught a cold. My head feels heavy as I force myself to stay awake. I drag my mouth lethargically across the desk. Liao. Yes? Did I not tell you that my blessings won't stop you from becoming ill? And in spite of it being freezing tonight, you took a cold shower. I just wanted to try. I wanted to know how strong your blessing was while you were away. I found that your blessing wasn't enough to protect me from a cold shower. It's been freezing at night, yet you managed to completely ignore that fact. You aren't wearing enough clothes, you're starving, your room is in disarray, you haven't even washed your clothes for days. You didn't even use a blanket last night. You've been torturing yourself. How else could I make you come out? Because you were like this. I felt I couldn't face you. Your actions are not but emotional ransomware. <laughs> Where does he even get these words from? Yeah, sure. How else would I get attention? How else would I get your attention? Tell me. I understand, but that does not give you any excuse to act so recklessly. You're not my boyfriend anyway. I know I've crossed the line, but I'm not about to give up. I can't stand here and just throw away my feelings for him. I thought that me and Tiger were... If I'm going to spend my whole life with him, I don't want to be reminded every day. Reminded about how I gave up on him. But it hurts so much. Liao. Huh? I surrender. Huh? Yet I have terms to make. What do you mean? If you want me to date you, you have to return home. I don't wish to coerce you, but your ability to distinguish spirits makes you special. Even the Yao Guai can see that. That aborigine and the kitten approach due to your power, which I believe you know. 
That aborig the Aborigine's actions have made me realize that some irreparable accident might befall you any day. Back home is the only place that no one would dare make a move to harm you under the eyes of Goddess Meizu. It is a pity that you don't wish to return, which you know all, which you know all too well. If not only for your safety, you should go back. I don't want to face the risk of losing you. If we are to start a relationship, my concern is for your safety. I don't want to start something with you just to have you just to have you leave me one day because you were reckless. Is that not is that not reasonable of me? But I know you still wish to pursue the art of dance, and it is not my desire to put a stop to your dreams. I want you to try to continue working towards those dreams back home. There must be some local classes, even if they were not as big. However, are you sure you do not wish to inherit the family temple? Even if you do not, you should still make some time to assist your brother. To have you return home is certainly for the best. I know it's not what you want for your life, but I can't. Can it really be all that bad? At the very least, I'll be by your side as your boyfriend. I can. <clears throat> Take care of you, or anything you want. I will not refuse, because that's what you want. I want you to be happy, so please, do it for me, and for your safety, come home with me. After I graduate? That's up to you. For me, the earlier the better. Alas, your family will be unlikely to accept you suddenly quitting school. But if you make that promise to me, I can rest assured. I'll just have to stay close to you until that time comes. Are there a lot of guardian tigers back home? You want an open relationship? I don't really care if they agree. I didn't mean it like that! I'm just a little... The other Guardian Tigers are going to see the relationship between us. What would they think? What would Goddess Meizu think? Would she blame me and punish them? Wait, let's... Would she blame me and punish me? But that doesn't seem to bother Lin Hu, so I think it might be alright. He wouldn't try to persuade me to go back if, I, if he knew it would be awful. Even if I feel awkward around the other gods, that's just the price I have to pay. Right now, the most important thing to me is... Okay, I'll go back home with you, but, but first, promise me that you'll take care of me for the rest of my life. Of course, I'm with you for the rest of your life, no matter if you go back or not. But I'm certainly glad that you decided to go home. Alas, I do not really know how the other Argardian Tigers will be when they see us. It shall take considerable explaining. Will they object to us being together? Oh, doubtful, although it has always been the most experienced and powerful Guardian Tigers who have been closest to the spirit channel is in your family. As a young statue with less than one year experience, this is unheard of. <laughs> they will probably lose face at my accomplishments. They're not going to pressure you, are they? One second, y'all. Water time. The goddess will watch over me. This is the first time your eyes have been opened. It is not but the whims of fate that brought us together. They won't blame me. Nevertheless, I am thrilled to deepen our relationship. Heh. <laughs> I can't wait to show off. I'm still scared about what they're going to say. Don't worry. If they ever make you feel uncomfortable, I'll take you away. As much as I want you to use your power for the good of the temple, you're more important to me. I won't let anyone harm you. Thank you. Hey, is this not a good thing? There's no need to cry. Lin Hu leans over, the, leans over and wipes away the tears from, your, from my eyes. There, there. There's no rush to go back. Let's just wait until summer holidays. Now, you do have a cold to deal with. Go take a warm shower. We can't have you getting worse now, can we? Even with my blessing, you will take some time to get better. Okay. Thank you. As I turn around to go to the bathroom, Lin Hu so abruptly, abruptly tugs me from behind. Silly Liao. Don't make me worry ever again. Mm-hmm. Two weeks later, I returned home to our temple. I had no idea how horrible the temple was until now. There are dozens of guardian tigers. Dozens! The halls are full of them, and they all talk to me like priests. Honestly, no matter how handsome they are, their traditional views make it really hard to spend time with them. And thankfully... Oh. Thankfully, Lin Hu knows me well. Often jumping in to save me from their lectures, even going as far to stop anyone from coming into my room at night. When I got adjusted to life back home, I decided to visit Goddess Meizu. I'm left stunned in awe, her majestic bearing only serving to accentuate her opposing divinity. As much as I admire her, I dared not approach, but she understood that my fear was out of respect and never forced me to come closer. She simply praised me before letting me go. However, I, however, I did get the feeling that she knew about my relationship with Lin Hu, even though I hadn't told any of the, any of the other Guardian Tigers yet. Maybe Claire Audience informed her? I did manage to talk things over with my brother, agreeing to accompany him to the Temple events when I'm here. 
Although, I'll only be watching, passing on any messages from the Guardian Tigers when asked. At time I only came back for the weekend, but I'll be back once summer break starts. At least I've honored my promise to Lin Hu. In four years I'll graduate college, and I'm pretty sure I'll go back to the temple permanently. Which means Dance Club has more or less lost its meaning to me. Regardless, I still like it as a hobby, even if I can't follow it as a career. It's not like I'm about to quit dancing anytime soon. Speaking of which, I never saw Shushi Senpai at club again. I guess he dropped out of college and went back home after everything. I don't see Leopard Cat himself or Leopard again either. Sometimes I think about them and miss them. However, in Lin Hu's company, I have nothing to complain about. Whatever it is, studying in class, lying around at home, playing on my computer, taking a shower, or sleeping, Lin Hu is always by my side. I really enjoy and cherish his company. When I get back home, I'm sure I'll find the other Guardian Tigers lecturing, lecturing me annoying. But Lin Hu means so much more to me. I can never betray our promise. So I'll go back with Lin Hu, devoting my life to helping worshippers and spreading the word of our temple's traditions. In the end, there's no need to feel sad, because the person I love will be by my side for the rest of my life. What? 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 That's it? That's it? What? What? This game isn't long at all! I wanted more of a payoff! Oh, I wanted more of a payoff! I thought this game was going to be a lot longer, actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, guys, where did I go wrong? You should, it, it, okay, can someone in the comments please detail me uh, how I get the perfect ending? Because I would like to do that very much, thank you. Yeah, I would very much like to get the perfect ending. Huh. Oh, wow. Well, it's gorgeous CG, at least. Aww. <laughs> well, that's one. That is one down. Okay. Alright, so... Well, that is Lynn Hughes' ending. Alright, so I guess I'll be moving on to... Y'all in the comments, sound off. You want me to do Shushi Senpai or Leopard Cat? Let me know. Anyway, y'all, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye